Why hello there animal tamers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld The First Wendigo, episode 229, Boomalope Outpost. Don't even look at growth moments anymore. I just sort of assume that it's going to be like traits I wouldn't want, <laughs> and I don't need to check it all that carefully as a result. So Payne, you are up. Give you a shield belt. I don't yet have a warhammer, but uh, T Sing's working on it. When was the last non quest raid? I I mean I literally just had mech breachers like a second ago. So it's been less than a day since the last raid. Heard any rumors? Oh, I'm not privy rumors. Rumors. So if there are rumors about DLCs, I wouldn't know of them. And I'm not just being coy. I don't think, uh, Rimworld doesn't, um, they, they might keep some, um, content creators in the loop, but surely not me, I'll tell you that much. All right, there we are, Pain. this hammer is yours. The Pain Hammer. I like it. Low is this out? Wait, what is going on with the, uh... Low! What the hell, Low? I told Low to resurrect Fangface, and Low filled it with steel and then walked away. And never started the process. I mean, I guess I should have checked. But I was like, where is Fangface? Why aren't the... Why, why aren't the, the, the embryos being tended to? And, uh, yeah. Alright, opinion. You have slow wound healing, so you need to be implanted as well. Alright, Wendy is just gonna do this herself. I'm, I'm getting tired of the game going, ah, we'll get around to it. We believe that every, and no one should age naturally at this point, so... Unless they're sick and needs tending to, they need to be implanted with a xenogerm and then thrown back into the growth bat. It also helps to keep the sad youngsters from not being penalizing because they're in a vat that can't be sad. What the hell is going on? Why can't I operate? Oh, you know, it might be a, a implant that doesn't exist anymore. There we go. Yeah, I think that was the case. Whatever happened to the other egg? Brahms one. Brahms Tordek. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nice. Another flawless six. So Tordek, you get to haul it yourself. You're honored to be operated by one to yourself. <laughs> she wants you to be back at the prison sooner and is getting impatient. Oh, 
Our rice quantity seems to be slowly climbing back up, which is good. Our plasteel looks awesome. We have uh, 1,500. I guess gold would be the next one that I would need a deep drill for. Oh, I didn't realize the backup batteries are plugged in. And Nemelois's, uh infection went from uh, common to mild, so should be recovering very soon from that. Mild is the easiest to recover. The um, the infant illnesses, I gotta say, they are very, they're they're programmed very strange compared to uh, Rimworld's normal disease system. They're it's very much unlike any other disease, whether it mutates to variant variants of the uh, infant illness, and it, there's no like predicting of it. Find it odd that it was implemented that way. So here is the spare nuclear stomach for Phoenix. So we kind of butchered you the first time around. Well, Kadath got the right organ. At least the, he cut your stomach and your torso. I always find it hilarious when you do like a stomach surgery and you cut off a leg. It's like, wow, that's couldn't be any more wrong. Okay, we have a spare stomach. Awesome. Oh, it's not hauled yet. There it goes. It's a pain you've gotten implanted. You're just waiting on the stomach as well. There's a way. Blood transfusion. I won't just want to get rid of the stupid low hemogen morning, because he's in involuntary death rest. So it's not like uh, it's not like I could fix that reasonably. So the next priority I've got is build a transport pod uh, outpost. So here's the thinking, and I'll run it through again. In order to get to the Tempered Forest, uh, I'm going to need to send a builder. And I'm not actually picking anyone yet. I'm going to need to send a builder here, like as close to the Tempered Forest as I can. So like maybe here to then build another transport pod to pod down here. Um, and they are gonna be transport podding themselves and Bryze it. And then Bryze it, then we'll call for a shuttle ride to get down there. Cause shuttle rides have about the same range as a uh, transport pod. So it will be pod one to pod two, pod two to transport ride. Uh, so I need to send the correct materials for that. So it will be two pod launchers with two pods. So that's 220 steel and four components, provided that uh, nothing is wasted, plus 300 chem fuel. And it will be, well, Brazic, can you build? I actually might need to send more than that. No, because Brazic can't build. So it, I need to send a builder, I need to send Bryzit for the shuttle, and then I need to send Whammy for the animal taming. Plus food as well, obviously. Uh, so the other thing I might wanna do is to cook up some packaged survival meals. Cannibal ones. I'll do 40, let's say. Uh, and then make sure that nobody eats it. Okay, yeah, no one's set to eat it. Whammy's in the pod now? Yep, thank you. Not anymore. So yeah, 
I guess I'm going to be sending Frosty, Whammy, and Bryza in a pod. So I'm, I, chances are the three of them will fit. Yeah, the three of them will fit in two pods. So it's the same cost, but plus food. All to get a boomalo. Stupid, expensive boomalos. Uh, Kath, did we scan you? And I just like missed the notice? Wait, I could just look at your jeans. Yeah, I scanned you. What the hell did we scan? <laughs> da, 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 da. Strong intellectual, fast runner, piercing spine. Um, that. So, I didn't need any any of the three. I'm also going to eject it and not auto load it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, all right. I don't care about Sentinel's interrupted death rest. Uh, I want to scan him. So that resolves that prediction. It was a no. And I'll do the same prediction for Sentinel, which is the same exact uh, chances, because they're both sanguifages. So, again, I'm looking for Hemogenic, Blood Feeder, Coagulate, Death Rest, Tender Skin, Mild UV, Low Sleep. Of all of these subset, because you can't scan the Archite. All right, rise it has reversed age. Paramedic box bet. Welcome back, Fang Face. And another healthy fat birth. Oh, wow. That was fast. So this one is the Flawless 6. And I think I said the 7 would go in the fast pod. But what I could do is I can just switch them once the this one's born. Um, although, you know, I probably want to fast pod this one anyway. So that is another giveaway. And this is a flawless one that has super immunity. So, uh... A rather important specific individual, I think. Mini horn, super mini, and first skin are the three least represented in the colony, so that's nice. Uh, you are going to be implanted with baby. Good luck in the raffle. Oh, this is Cowerkirk's kid? Man. Is it really? Phantom Sky Collective. Grandkid of... Cowerkirk? Great-grandkid. Great-grandmother of Cowerkirk. Yep. And Nitro League. Oh, how it goes. multi-generational but like maybe not in a normally when people say multi-generational it brings like fluffy happy thoughts and that's not the case here there's no fluffy happy thoughts about the kind of multi-generational colony that we're running so here's our cannibal package survival mills and once I have enough I can send the uh, send the boomalop squad out
multi-experimental. Yeah, right. It's that's more like it. Okay, the lab has been died. I feel like I need to paint a ten in this lab to encourage the 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 chance of getting tens. I know it wouldn't matter. But plan for success, right? So Fangface will assign you to group two. And you're back to work. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 That's nasty. That's just mean. So, I've had the backup batteries plugged in this whole time. That's actually one of the next projects I intend to take on. Uh, I wasn't going to take it on just yet, because I was going to do the Boomlope quest that you had voted on. But the, the next project that I wanted to try to take on is to separate out the base into multiple power grids. Uh, so that part of the base can go brown out, but not the whole base all at once. To have uh, much the way that I did with the, the lab. The, um, the growth lab. That way I can have more batteries powering, um, you know, keeping the base online without running the risk, uh, necessarily the risk of massive feedback events like this one. So, fire got put out. No real damage, just kind of annoying that broke stuff. Oh well, it happens. Icarus is an adult. Oh, look at you. You sleep fast, you don't do drugs, and you hate a gender for no particular reason. You thought it was an infestation? Infestations would be fine. We handle them pretty effectively. Feedbacks, uh, in my opinion, are actually kind of more annoying. Knocking the power out such that it does. All right, giveaway. Mahai Goku, uh, aren't you a mech? Are you a mech? Maybe you aren't anymore. Or maybe you never was. I can never keep the name straight. Or are you a colonist? Or prisoner? Well, whatever. You'll you'll inform me. Or someone will. Alright, we have a name for the baby. Uh, time for the trades. And congrats. I don't need more neutrimine. That's a lot of heavy fur. Holy hell. I didn't realize I had that much. We got, I guess, really lucky with the amount of uh, Mega Slaws we were able to butcher. Can you believe they showed up with zero jeans for sale? It's like, come on, man. It's ridiculous. Oh, it reminds me I need to give Whammy the uh, skill trainer animals. How do you have so very little? You show up with just just an abundance of garbage. Makes me upset. Because I, I have like a hundred corsets, but like you're not going to be able to afford any of them. It's a damn shame, man. It's a damn shame. I can also gift up to 50. Might as well. I have so many corsets. Uh, 
All right, 99, that's our rep. Cool. Next up. You know, it'd be really nice if they did... Oh, I guess I have my Packers of Ramamos now. If they just showed up with uh, Boom Lopes, sparing me all the effort. That would be sweet. I Now that I've said it out loud, it absolutely will not happen. But I can still... I can still dream. So they showed up with the Pyrophobic. Hmm. Okay. Cool. I guess. That's funny, considering that it's Wendy who's... Uh, a vampire. It's almost insulting. Uh, it's Eltex Skullcap, which is good. I guess I have normal ones, but like I'm not even really using them, and I do already have a good one, so never mind. I would love to buy stuff to be able to offload this cataphract armor, but like they don't have anything for sale that's worth buying. Unless I want an Eltex vest, which I really don't. I suppose I could just buy a charge rifle, um, sparing me the effort of actually making one. And then... Is there anything else? Reinforced barrel, I guess? Yeah. That'll work. Okay, and I can wrap up about 27. Or exactly 27, but... Oh, gifts. Close enough. Last but not least... There they are. So that weapon will be for Phoenix once Phoenix is uh, conscious. I needed a charge rifle for Phoenix. I'm going to cut the power to the farms. Just so that the power grid can recover from the, uh, the shortage event. We got a soother. These trades, I will say, are like. There's barely a reason to even call them in anymore. These caravans show up with such nothing. Just almost nothing that I would even bother with. That they're always disappointing. Nearly without fail. I'm not even going to gift you anything. Come back when you have something better to buy. Now, if I send Whammy... The other question is... Between Whammy... Whammy can hunt. What I'm sort of curious is if, if they'll be able to, like, build their own shelter once they arrive uh frosty can't mine can only construct maybe there will be ruins for me to break down for materials but bryza can't mine either yeah so it won't be great but uh animal 17 is pretty good
The hard snow is great. The wind turbines are really cranking out a lot of power. If only we had a little bit of sunlight. Our power grid could bounce back. Okay, uh, once it's morning, I will start sending the group to tame, um, yeah, I'll, I'll send the trio out. Oh my god, Kish, could you work any slower? I don't want the answer to that. I think it would be yes. God, look at this Papa Smurf right here. You inherited blue hair? Man, that's... Well, I guess it's thousands of years in the future. Who knows? Spoiling yourself catching this the uh, the stream. Well, thank you. Even if you're uh, a wee bit behind. Oh wait, what are we doing to Mike? Yeah, put Mike down. Drop Mike. <laughs> Drop the mic. Uh, and stick Mike back in. Oh, actually, Mike should be going to the other one, right? One, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike's not going in that one. Can I that? Oops. Ah, oh, that sucks. Kind of wish that didn't happen. It's like, just because I don't want to put Mike in there doesn't mean I want to spill out all the nutrients that were in there. Because Mike got implanted with the baby Xenodrome, yeah? Yeah. Okay. That one's for Nemi. Once Nemi recovers. Wait, why do I have an empty one? Nemi and... Now I'm confused. Did someone just age out? Yeah, did someone age out? Or do I have yet to place someone in? Mo, oh, Madsy popped out? And I didn't even notice. Yeah, Madsy popped out. Okay, that explains it. So Madzi's male is allowed to be a colonist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is a flawless seven with nearsightedness, so would be probably a brawler. Um. So what do we do with Madzi? There's the three options. Crypto sleeps amongst them. Amongst them. Somehow or another, and I really, truly do not understand how, like, not at all, because Madzy, I think it bugged out. Madzy was crypto-slept, or crypto-grown, or rather fat-grown, but Madzy got a passion, which I really, truly did not think was possible, um, because your vat-grown aren't supposed to gain passions, but Madzy has somehow a burning passion in mining. Oh! It's because, wait, so you inherited great mining, which adds one level of passion to mining, yeah, and then I implanted great mining, but I don't think it would double, because that overrides it. So yeah, somehow Madzi got a passion while growing in a vat, which is the first time that has ever happened, because it's not supposed to happen. They don't have growth moments. I suppose I could go through all the messages and try to figure out if Madzi ever had, like, 
a growth moment that like offered up a passion, but I don't think I don't think it ever did for him. So very confused by that. It's a minor bug. <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, as promised, let's go and uh, send our trio. So that would be Frosty, or yeah, Frosty. Rise it and whammy with steel. I'm going to give them extra just in case something fails. Um, chem fuel component. Pack of survival meals. Some regular meals that they can eat because they won't spoil immediately. Uh, we're rough living, so bedrolls don't matter. Mm. Yeah, I think that's all that really matters. Now, we might want to send rice so that we can do the taming without having to, like, pick berries, I guess. So I'll send, like, an abundance of rice uh, so that that's not an issue. And some meds. 20 herbal meds. Hope I don't forget anything. All right, calling us some prisoner, tied. So I'm going to flip a coin. Heads will be colonist. Uh, tails will be prisoner. Heads, you are a colonist. All right, taking a look at you. You have nearsightedness. So you're going to be a brawler miner, I think. Uh, so... Mm, and what else? You had traits. Slothful, so that sucks. Sickly. Ugh, God. Chemical interest? What? is going on with my test subjects. Why do I want to disembowel all of them? Uh, but okay. Fine. Fine. Dead calm, kind, very fast runner, very happy, heat weak, psychic doll, super immunity, because you're sickly, awful cook, awful plant, awful art, awful craft, Awful social, awful int, awful animal, great mining, awful construction, great melee, awful shooting, unstoppable, dark vision, ugly. What else am I missing? I guess you can't afford very fast runner. So forget that. Uh, I only have two points to work with, so quick study won't work. Fingers for mining? Yeah, it, it can help. I guess. I'm gonna have one more point. Super clot? Do I have unstoppable? Yeah, I'm unstoppable. Yeah, I guess super clot. Good enough. You're born with strong melee. Phoenix, what did I make you? I turned you into medical. Okay. Well, obviously, because it's glowing. So we have space for another one where Madsy popped out. I'm guessing Coruscant will pop out soon and Skyra as well. Man, that's a lot. Uh, 
So perhaps lower represented... Well, I'll grow this one. I'll just keep pushing super immune. Because I think super immunity is going to be uh, annoying if I don't. There's no way to get to 11 without super immunity being part of the, uh, the equation. Okay, so we're implanting two flawed eggs. That's fine. Wait, I shouldn't... Mm. Okay, let's not implant that one, actually. Because Nemi needs to go back in. Did you get... Prisoner? Okay, yes. Grow Nem. Sentinel popped out, and I must have missed that message. Wow, we even popped Eevee out, too. Uh, so, Sentinel... Oh, I had scrolled. No, never mind. Sentinel did not pop out. Uh, strong Intellectual. 100% of you said no? <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, EB, thank you for the resub. All right, let me uh, get rid of that strong intellectual. I don't need that. I mean, we I guess we don't have it, but I have great intellectual, so there's no point in really having strong if you already have great. In fact, wait, hold on. Did I have two copies of that? No. I did have two copies? Where are the other copy? Oh yeah, here's the other copy. What a waste. What a waste. Love how the mods became more and more sciencey. I know. Well, it's it's mostly just so that like this series doesn't go on for years to come. Streamlining everything that can be streamlined for my own sanity. Cuz there's I should have been more careful about um about everything about the goal of this because it's so ridiculously hard to accomplish uh, I did see that the pods were ready I'm just trying to get uh, Nem back in the come on Jesus how much nutrition do we need in here there we go okay all squared away pod people Godspeed. So a reminder, this is for Boomalopes. Because it was voted on that I have a ranch of Boomalopes. And uh, I tried trading for them and couldn't find them. So the only... The, the next best way would be to tame them myself. So this is Operation Boom. Come on, backup batteries. You have 65k watts overcharge. Can you just fill up already? <laughs> so here's the thing with the transport shuttle. The transport shuttle doesn't get us there, right? As you can see. So we're going to need tra uh, transport pods and then a transport shuttle. It is a multi-stage um, a multi-stage travel. I ejected strong sex, uh, social. Oh, did I? Oh my god. I don't. I have poor social. I don't even need that either. And then poor plants. I don't need. They're unique, but like, I don't have use for them. So now I have to dig out the thing that I ejected that I didn't want to eject. Strong intellectual autoload? Wait, no. I, it was the social. Is someone holding it? Uh, 
Oh, it's still here. No, no, these aren't it. Dang it. Here's strong social. I set that to auto load. There we go. Because I don't have great social. That's the last thing we want to scan off of Sarai. So strong socials my stopgap until I have what I really want. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 30th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community on Discord, it also has a link to Discord, as does the description to this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigo, 